can superhero phone those fuckers. <laughs> Yuri, civilians trapped I found a fish vehicle. construction site. Lots of busy worker bees up to no good. Try to make some noise. If someone calls in a disturbance, I can send cars. Noisy? I can do noisy. Make it extinct. Scouts on her! Uh, uh. 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 
Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. Pigeon target acquired. Don't fly away, please! Now, if there's one thing I can't abide, it's egomaniacs who use the internet solely to draw attention to themselves. And we just had a real meeting of the minds in that respect, as the online personality screwball pranked fellow narcissist Spider-Man into an epic snipe hunt that put innocent people in danger. On the one hand, Screwball didn't show us all just how gullible and reckless Spider-Man is, rushing headlong into dangerous situations without knowing or caring who he'll hurt as long as cameras are on him. On the other hand, Screwball herself is no better. Unlike me, she's not trying to expose wrongdoers like Spider-Man as a public service. She's just in it to promote herself, which I think is absolutely despicable. Now don't go away. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson will be right back after this important message about how you can buy my book. These cameras aren't cheap. If Felicia's really strapped, why is she leaving them lying around? I love making you chase me, Spider. Someday I might even let you catch me. Just not today. Meow. Black Cat does enjoy playing games with people. Especially me. Just ahead of you. It is so close. 
But instead of joining us, you resist the flame. You deny it. Know this. Those who reject our cause will be consumed side by side with Osborne. There is no escape from our flame. Join us or perish. What has Osborne done for you? Left you to rot, to scream, to live in fear and pain. Osborne lords above you, free from responsibility and consequences. Give Osborne to us. We promise that you will be rewarded. Osborne does not deserve your mercy or your pity. Osborne is a cancer, and cancers must be cut out. Too long has this city wallowed in the filth of Osborne. No more! We are the cleansing flame that will tear him away. Your freedom from Osborne is just ahead of you. It is so close. But instead of joining us, you resist the flame. You deny it. Know this. Those who reject our cause will be consumed side by side with Osborne. There is no escape from our blade. Join us or perish. Do not wish to harm these people. We are an order of peace. Balance our goals, not bloodshed. You guys weren't so hostage happy. Jameson gave me this at his bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. Spider-Man recklessly took down Wilson Fisk without preparing for the consequences. Our streets are now filled with aspiring gangsters, each trying to out-psycho the other. My next guest is lucky to have survived an armed robbery. Sir, we're glad you're okay. Thanks. She was nuts. These dudes walk in like they own the place, waving guns around. Appalling. When a businessman is afraid to make an honest living. Yeah, it was a lifesaver that Spider-Man came along and stopped him. Weren't you listening? He caused the problem! Uh, did... Forgive me for raising my voice. I'm emotional at the thought of what you went through. Jared, our caller seems shaken. Let's let him go. I'm fine. Goodbye! What's his problem?
Officers are pinned down by hostiles and masks. Available officers report to Turtle Bay. Over. Okay, Pete, this lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. Pretend I'm a bad guy. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Pretend I'm a bad guy. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Love it. thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius.
units need immediate response to a 1030 on an armored car. Any officers near- This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? Black Cat's been here. She was doing this in person the first time I caught her. Or did she catch me? This can't just be some elaborate flirtation. Hasn't she heard of dating apps? She's up to something. Huh. That's Ty Stone's place. And it's full of priceless art. You're playing with fire, Felicia. But I guess that's how you roll. Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now, a Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. What happened, ma'am? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. I thought I'd never see my kids again. And then the police saved us, and, and Spider-Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I'm so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. But he saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in a diner? Oh, certainly not. And do you have Spider-Man in a diner? Uh, no. And that... It's not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Target-rich environment. Someday there'll be a billboard of me that doesn't say menace on it. I always knew someday they'd weaponize tackiness.
someone should really bring back sign painting. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station. Pigeon. Come on. He's a fast one. This pigeon knows the city better than I do. Okay. I <laughs> love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Can't tell you, though. Know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life's for living, not moving. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Find that the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. Felicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. Got it. I think some big-time lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. Hate to admit it, but she's one smart cat. Children play, apparently, stalking pigeons. 
Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane, a perfectly valid question, but have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider? Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. And God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Let's see. Good. Looks good. This is for all the marbles. It's working. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. Pigeon alert. Ah, get him.
Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <clears throat> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thieves hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him out. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Now to get the fuel back. Can you be swinging or something? Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Back where it belongs, I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Officers requested near Flatiron. 